In this video lecture, let us understand how the numericals are solved in the free convection problem. In the force convection problem, we have seen there are the numericals are solved with the help of Reynolds number. Reynolds number has been replaced by the Grishoff and Rayleigh's number in case of a free convection. Uh, the properties, finding out the properties, then finding out the using the correlation of Messard number and as well as the H value. Then to find out Q is equal to H into A into delta T, where H is the convective transfer coefficient, A is the surface area, and delta T uh, is the temperature difference between the two fluids, that is uh, uh, between the surface and the surrounding, remains the same. A hot square plate of 50 cm into 50 cm at 100 degrees centigrade is exposed to one atmosphere at 20 degrees centigrade. Find the heat loss from both the surface of the plate if the plate is horizontal. So, first one you have to identify what is the shape. The shape over here is a square. The shape over here is a square. And dimension is given that is a 50 centimeter into 50 centimeter that has been given over here at a 100 degree centigrade. So, what is 100 degree centigrade? T surface is a 100 degree centigrade and T surrounding T surrounding is a 20 degree centigrade that has been given. So, as uh, we have done the uh, free convection first thing we have to do is a T film. So, that is a 100 plus 20 divided by 2 that is 120 that is equal to 60 degree centigrade. So, for the properties of a properties of a air at a 60 degree centigrade is a we have to suppose to find out that is a nu is equal to 18.97 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square per second parameter number is equal to 0 0.696 k value is equal to 0.0896 watt per meter kelvin right so these are the things have been given so next beta beta value is not given in the handbook but we can use 270 p plus t mean and in that case it is a 273 plus 60 degree that is a 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 k kelvin to the power minus 1. So once this is done we have to suppose to find out the Grishoff number. The Grishoff number is found out by using the formula B G delta T L cube by nu square nu square and Grishoff to be calculated L is calculated by area by perimeter area by perimeter right area by perimeter so L is equal to 0 0.5 into 0 0.5 by 4 into 0 0.5 this has come because my plate is a square plate so area is a peri perimeter of a very square plate is 4 into sides. So that is equal to a area is equal to side into length into depth, which is same. Therefore, it has been used over here. And when you calculate that one, L will get a, is a around a 0 0.125 meter. So once the brush of then the brush of number is found out by using P into 10 to the power minus 3 9.81 into 80 divided by 0 0.125 to the power 3 divided by nu square that is 18.97 into 10 to the power minus 6 square and that turns to be 12.77 into 10 to the power 6. Once the Grishoff number is found out, we are supposed to find out the Rayleigh's number. So, 
uh, we can find out the relic number or it is in the short we are giving that is a brush of number into parallel number so it is a, it should be written in small letter gr into pm that is equal to 12.77 into 10 to the power 6 and parallel number is equal to 0 0.696 on product of this one turns to be 8.89 into 10 to the power 6. So next one we have to find out the Nusselt number. The Nusselt number for this rule will be 0 0.15 in the product of brush off into Prandtl to the power 0.333 and that turns to be 0 0.15 5 into 8.89 into 10 to the power 6 to the power 0 0.34. So this value turns to be 30.90. The Nusselt number is 30. So we know Nusselt number is equal to HL by K. So if I want to find out the H value, Nusselt into K by L is a H. Therefore, this turns to be 30.9 into 0 0.0896 divided by 0 0.125 and that turns to be 7.15 watt per meter square Kelvin. So, you I can find out by using H A into delta K where H is the convective transfer coefficient, area is a surface area and delta T is a temperature difference. So, I can find out by 7.5, area is a 0.5 into 0.5 and uh, the difference on temperature is a 100 minus 20 that turns to be 143 watt. This is uh, for the case one, uh, where the this is a case one when upper surface is heated. So this uh, formula you are getting in page number 136. In the same page, uh, you will also get uh, for the second when uh, um, other plate, other side is uh, um, heated or uh, heated from the bottom side. If it is heated from the bottom side. If it is the case two for the for case two, if I have to consider for the case two, the so the nusselt the other uh, things remains the same the nusselt number turns to be 0 0.27 into brush off into triangle to the power 0 0.25 and this is turns to be 0 0.27 into 8.89 into 10 to the power 6 to the power 0 0.25 and on multiplication we get 14.74 so, H value I can find out by using Nusselt into K by L and that is to be 14.74 into 0.0028896 divided by 0.5. So, that is, a, is equal to 0 0.857 uh, 37 watt per meter square Kelvin. In this case, if I have to find out Q is equal to H A delta T, so this H is equal to 0 0.8537 into area 0.5 into 0.5 and the temperature is a 100 minus 20. That is equal to 17.07 fat. So, you will have the different values if you are you might have seen in the upper case it is 143 watt but when it is heated from the bottom side it is a so this is the correlation when you are also getting in the page number in the data handbook in the page number 136 when the the lower part is a heated upper next problem is consider the design of the nuclear reactor using pre-connection uh, of heating liquid bismuth. The reactor core is constructed of a parallel 
vertical plate of 2 meter height and 1.2 meter wide. Find the maximum possible heat rejection rate from the both the sides of each plate. Take surface temperature of a plate not to exceed 920 degrees centigrade. The lowest allowable temperature is 350 degrees centigrade. So here consider nuclear reactor and of a pre-convection has been mentioned. If you, the first thing you have to find out is the T film or T evaluator. So if when you calculate data 350 plus 950 divided by 2, you will get a 650 degree centigrade. So when we refer page number 32 for a uh, since the fluid is a this matter, we we uh, will get a, uh, not above 600 degree properties of a this matter. So above 600 degree, note down the same temperature as a 600 only. So here we are taking a parameter, though it is 650, we are considering with the with the data handbook provided for, for a 600 only. For the above the temperature properties are not mentioned. So key value for this one is a 17.21 rat per meter Kelvin. Randall number is equal to 0 0.0091 and a new value uh, viscosity will be 0 0.108 into 10 to the power 6 meters square per second. So when you do this one, the beta value uh, uh, we have can calculate by 273 plus a T mean. Right? If you do that one, you get a 1 by 273 plus 650 and that turns to be 1.0834 into 10 to the power minus 3 k to the power 1 is a per Kelvin. So, Grishoff number GR is equal to beta G delta T L cube by mu square. So, Grishoff number you try to find out it is a 1.0834 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 9.81 into temperature difference is 950 minus 350 in L cube. L length of the plate is given to be 2 meter. So, I can write this is a 2 cube divided by current viscosity is given as a 0 0.018 into 10 to the power minus 6 whole square. So, on calculation, we get uh, the Grishoff number to be 4.37 into 10 to the power 15. We know that the relevance number is nothing but the product of Grishoff number into Randall number. So, it helps us uh, to find the, uh, the correlation for the Nusselt number. So, we have to find the Grishoff number. Grishoff number is a 4.37 into 10 to the power 15. The Randall number is a 0 0.0091. That turns to be 3.98 into 10 to the power 13. So, Nusselt number is equal to 0 0.10 into Grishoff into Randall number to the power 0.33. That is equal to 0 0.10 into 3.98 into 10 to the power 13 to the power 0.33. That turns to be 3.378 into 10 to the power 3. So, Nusselt number is equal to HL by Q. So, here data is nothing but 3.378 into 10 to the 3 is equal to, we are supposed to find out the h value, l is 2 and the k value is 17.21. So, h comes to be 
that per meter square Kelvin. This is the H value because uh, uh, we are talking about nuclear reactor compared to the any other uh, value uh, of any other problem. Here you can find uh, you can notice uh, H value is a very higher value, right? In a greater form. So next one we have to find out the Q or a heat of loss from the plate. To find out the Q, we can use the formula H A into delta T and uh, it has to be multiplied by the both the sides. U2 is used to because the heat transfer from a heat transfer, heat transfer from both the sides, heat transfer from both the both the sides, right? Both the sides are take place. Therefore, this is a H2906769 area is 2 and delta T comes to be uh, and uh, uh, this is a uh, 2 meter into 1.3 meter wide is given that's for and so 950 minus 350 into 2 and q comes to be when multiplication we get this value around 90.69 megawatt megawatt a huge value for a nuclear reactor a q of 0 0.036 od 40 centimeter length is maintained at a uniform temperature of 100 degree centigrade. It is exposed to air at uniform temperature of 20 degree centigrade. Determine the rate of heat transfer from the surface of the tube if tube is vertical, if tube is horizontal. Both the orientation, the heat transfer has been asked. Let us see what are the given data. The given data is diameter is equal to 0 0.036 meter length is given in centimeter so that is 40 centimeter that is supposed to convert that into 40 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter T of the temperature surface is a 100 degree centigrade medium is a I because when we take the uh, Film temperature or the average temperature, the properties has to be found for the same thing. So, film temperature Tf is equal to 100 plus 20 divided by 2, that turns to be 60 degree centigrade. Then, the properties of air at a 60 degree centigrade is equal to given is a mu is equal to 18.97 into 10 to the power minus 6 meter square per second random number is a 0.696 k value is equal to 0 0.02896 suppose we are supposed to find out the first one is a rush of number rush of number is equal to delta into g into delta t into L Q by mu square. So to find out that beta value, I should do 273 plus T mean temperature. That is equal to 273 plus 60. That is equal to 3 into 10 to the power minus 3. That is a per Kelvin. Once this is done, you have to suppose to find out the Brishoff number. Pressure number GR is equal to 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 9.81 into 100 minus 20 into 40 into 10 to the power minus 2 to the power 3 and that is a divided by 18.97 into 10 to the power minus 6 whole to the power when you do this one, you get a, that as a 4.18 into 10 to the power 8. So we got the pressure of number. Next one is a relegation number to find out. That is nothing but rush off into trundle number. So on multiplication with the trundle number, that is a 0 0.696, we get this as a 2.91 into 10 to the power 8. That is a 
daily this number. Once that is done, I am supposed to find out the select the Nassar number from the handbook for the given uh, value of the religious number and that turns to be 0 0.59 into threshold into candle to the power 0.25 that turns to be 0.59 into 2.91 into 10 to the power 8 to the power 0.25 so Nassar number comes to be 77.02 once the cell number is found out, now we have we can find out the convective heat transfer coefficient h value. So to find out the h value, we have the cell number is equal to hl by k or h if I to find out it is a this case 77.02 and that is a cell number with the k value, k value is 0 0.0. 2896 divided by hmm, uh, L length is 40 into 10 to the power minus 2. While doing this one, we will get 5.57 watt per meter square degree centimeter. This is a H value. Next one, we find the Q H A into delta T. So on this one, H value is 5.1. 7 a area is a here is a the shape is given as it to be five so it is a pi d l i should remember that one hmm. so multiplication i will get a pi into area area uh, uh, that is a pi into d diameter 0 0.36 into 40 into 10 to the power minus 2 and temperature difference is 100 minus 20. And that turns to be 20.15 watt. So this is when the when the pipe is a vertical. If the pipe is horizontal, we have got a, we have to find out the once again the shock number. Then uh, uh, the product of the shock number will that is a religious number. Once again, a cell number and H value. Accordingly, Q has to be estimated. The second case for horizontal, for a for horizontal shape, we have Grashoff is equal to beta G delta T dQ by nu square. So, if I do that one, 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 9 times. 8 into 80 into 0 0.036 to the power cube divided by 18.97 into 10 to the power 6 whole square. So that turns to be 3.05 into 10 to the power 5. So now to find out the Grashoff into triangle, we have got a 3.05 into 10 to the power 5 into triangle number that is a 0 0.6.6 that is a 2.12 into 10 to the power 5. So the value ranges from 10 to the power 4 to 10 to the power 7. So since uh, uh, if you refer page number uh, 138. Uh, for different correlation, see for uh, the power 10, uh, the religious number can be said 10 to 10 to the power 7. The correlation is a uh, Nassar number is equal to C into Grashoff to the Grashoff for the diameter to the triangle to power m. So, on that one, we can write this as a 0 point of C value 0 point character. And Grashoff is equal to Grashoff into Prandtl. We have found that it is a to be 2.12 into 10 to the power 5 and the power 0.25 and that turns to be 10.29. Next step, we have to find out the uh, H value. To find out the H value, we have Nusselt is equal to HT by K. So, to find out H value, 
have got 10.29 into 0.28963. Divided by k, k values of 0 0.036 and that tends to be 8.277 watt per meter square would be centigrade. So once the muscle number is found out, once the H value is got, we are now easy to find out Q value, Q is equal to H into delta T. So once again, area is a pi d L because it is a surface area and here the shape is a of a cube. Therefore, I can uh, use a H value to 0.77. There is a pi into 0 0.036 into 40 into the power 10 to the power minus 2 and 100 minus 20 that is equal to 29.93 watt so as you can see when it is a uh, when when it is a kept uh, vertical you have a 20.15 watt when it is kept horizontal it is more right? that is uh, around uh, 10 10 watt it is more that is 29.93 watt we are getting the value Next problem, consider the body of a man as a vertical cylinder has 300 mm and 170 cm height. Calculate the heat generated by the body in one degree. Take the body temperature as 36 degrees centigrade and ambient temperature as 40 degrees centigrade. So here the man has considered as a vertical body. So on that note, if I to calculate the mean temperature it is a Tf is equal to 36 plus 14 divided by 2 it comes to be 25 degrees centigrade and uh, I'm supposed to take the properties of uh, properties of air at uh, 25 degree centigrade so in that note we can find out the properties k value 0 0.02634 Wrap per meter Kelvin, new value 15.53 into 20 to the power minus 6 meter square per second. Prandtl value is 0 0.702. By this one, if I find out the ratio of number, I want to be beta g delta t into L cube by mu square. So to find out the beta value, it is a 1 by 273 plus uh, t mean uh, t mean uh, that is equal to 1 by 25 plus 273 that is equal to 3.355 into 10 to the power minus 3 k to the power minus 1. So if I use that one, I'll, I can get the pressure number. So to find out the pressure number, we get a uh, 3.3. 5, 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 9.81 into 3 point uh, uh, 36 minus 14 uh, into 170 into 10 to the power minus 2 to convert centimeter to meter cube divided by 15.53 into 10 to the power 6 uh, Square. That turns to be 1.47 into 10 to the power 10. So, pressure into plant number to be the 1.47 into 10, 10 into 0 0.702 comes to be 1.0354 into 10 to the power 10. So, therefore, the muscle number is 0 0.10 into brush of into panel to the power 0 0.033 that comes to be 0 0.10 into 1.035 into 10 to the power 10 to the power 0.33 and on solving we get a 216.25 that is a Nusser number. Next, our aim is to find out uh, if the Nusser number is got, we can find out H L by K. Okay. From here, I can find out the H value. So, H value comes to be 
0.2160 mass of number into k value 0.02634 divided by the height is given in centimeter that was convert into meter and it comes to be 3.35 watt per meter square Kelvin is the H value. Once that is done, we have to convert the Q value. For finding out the Q value, we have got Q is equal to H A into delta T. H is 3.35 and here by D L is the area into temperature difference is 36 minus 40. So if you know this D value is 300 diameter, it is given in mm, so I have to convert into here. L value is 170 into 10 to the power minus 2. That comes to be 118.10 watt. Once that is done, I can find it. Q is equal to it is in watt, so I have to multiply by 118 into 10 into 24 into 60 minus 16 to 60. So this is to convert into in a per day. Since the question is a per one day, one day is asked. Us. So we are multiplying the. Uh, this is the watt is nothing but joule per second. So to convert into to that in second, I get in joule. So uh, on multiplication, I get the, the bigger value. So to keep that value as a mega joule, I can use a 1.2. So, I hope this is a clear to everyone. In this problem, calculate the heat transfer of incandescent bulb 60 watt at 125 degree centigrade to ambient 25 degree centigrade. Assume that bulb is a sphere shape and 50 mm diameter. Also, find power percentage of power loss by convection. Let us note down what are the parameters that have been given. The given parameter is a surface temperature is a 125 degrees centigrade, Q is equal to 60 watt, T infinity is equal to 25 degree centigrade, and shape is a sphere, shape is a sphere, sphere, and the diameter is a 50 mm that is equal to 50 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter and the film temperature Tf is equal to 125 plus 25 divided by 2 that is equal to 75 degree centigrade. Properties of air at a 75 degree centigrade. We have to take the properties of air. So the properties of R at a 75 degree centigrade R K is equal to thermal conductivity is 0 0.030065 watt per meter Kelvin and nu is equal to 20.555 kind of power minus 6 meter square per second and final number is 0.693. Once this is done, we have to find out the uh, beta value. Beta value is equal to 1 by 273 plus T mean temperature is equal to 1 by 75 plus 273 is equal to 2.8735 into 10 to the minus um, 3 minus b put to the power k1 so once that is done we can find out the shock number is beta into g delta t dq by mu square that is equal to 2.8735 into 10 to the power minus 3 into 9.81 into 100 into T into 10 to the power minus 3 to the power cube divided by nu square that is equal to 20.555 into 10 to the power minus 6 square. 
on doing that one, we get 8.397 into 10 to the power 5. That is a pressure of number. Once that is done, we have to find out the pressure of into common number to get the religious number. So, religious number turns to be 8.3397. That is a pressure of number into common number 0 0.693. And that is a 5.8 into 10 to the power 5. For a sphere, for sphere shape, we have a, uh, we, when we refer the handbook for page number 138, we get a Nusselt number is equal to 2 plus 0 0.50 into, into brush of D stands for diameter to the frontal to the power 0.25. Why you have selected? Because uh, this uh, correlation holds good uh, for the sphere uh, if the pressure of, uh, of diameter and frontal is between v into 10 to the power 5 to 3, 8 into 10 to the power 8. So on that note, uh, if we select that one, it will be 2.50 into pressure of is a 0.5.8 into 10 to the power 5. Uh, to the power 0.25 that turns to be 15.79. So, Nusselt number is equal to H B by K. So, H is equal to 15.79 into 0 0.030065 divided by 50 into 10 to the power minus 3. So, that is the value of a uh, diameter which is given in mm, so that's why we are converted up into meter. And the value turns to be 9.499 watt per meter square Kelvin. Lastly, we have to find out the Q value. Q value is equal to, we know that uh, it is a h into a into delta t. H value is a 9.499 area for the sphere. The area of the sphere is a 4 pi r square. So, the, uh, therefore, we can use it 4 into pi into r is a 25 into 10 to the minus 3 square into delta t is a 100. So, that comes to be 7.46 watt. Q is equal to 7.46 watt. One more part has been asked uh, is a percentage of power loss. To find out the percentage of power loss uh, which is happening, that is, we can write that one. The actual wattage is equal to of the bulb is given is 60 watt, right? Actual the uh, is a 60 watt uh, minus uh, the heat loss is 7.46 uh, divided by actual into 100. That uh, comes to be 8. 87.456 to find out the loss we can minus it 100 minus 87.56 that is a 12.43 percentage of loss that is a observed when the uh, from that bulb so uh, in this way we can find out the percentage loss from the water